the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. What is money? I know that this is a church that is not ignorant as far as understanding money is concerned. Um, is it alright if I bring a bill or a note just to use? I found out that this is a very effective way of making Nigerians understand this definition. No matter who is sleeping, once you bring something up, they understand immediately. This is a hundred dollar bill. Please look up. And can I use you, sir? Any one of you, come. If I give this gentleman, please hold it huh, and lift it up. If I give this gentleman, it doesn't matter what direction, you just hold it. <laughs> you like money, huh? I will report you to your pastor. Now, watch this. If this gentleman is giving this, most times we say he has money. Is that true? And he also believes he has money. Are we together? Now, tear this in pieces in your mind now I, I want want to respect this but just watch this while he's still standing remember he was happy that he has a hundred dollar now tear it drop it on the ground give it back to him what does he have why what suddenly changed you didn't clean anything on it you only altered you just tore this in six or seven places and still put it back shouldn't he be happy that you even made it easier for me to put it in my pocket so the act of just tearing this suddenly frustrates this man is this really powerful then what sort of value is this that the moment i tear it i can't do anything with it again Take the ton money to someone in a shop and say, I, I, this is not fake money. I just have a careless child who, while I was maybe using the restroom, the child thought that this was a piece of paper and he was tearing it and said, Mommy, see, you think the shop person will say, I understand, you know, children. No, he will politely dismiss you. Brothers and sisters, understand, I'm leading you somewhere. What is it about this that gives you confidence? One moment, and just because something happened to it. You become insecure immediately. Now what if you have 20 of this and then you set it on fire and it burns. Can you carry the ashes to CBN and say I'm an innocent Nigeria? What happened is that my gas, I gas, I don't know how this thing works. Listen, if you do not understand the accurate concept of money, you will live a very insecure life. So if my confidence is because this is in my pocket, I'm in trouble. Notice when you leave your house without it, you quickly run back. It has the power to send you back to your house. And you pick it and put it and say, my soul, find rest. You left your house without it. And you were not confident again. Someone, oh, so I'm sorry. The moment I give you this, don't talk to me like that. What are you saying? what is it about this thing that seems to give you so much confidence and then at the same time withdraw that confidence again this is a deliverance service happening here <laughs> ah, goodness so this gentleman because he has this he may not rest again. The moment he sees me, he thinks I'm aware 
that he has this so he will hide it look what is happening to his emotions just because there is a piece of paper the paper does not talk yet look at the evil it is doing to you now listen carefully i'll tell the person please can you help me with and he, he is fighting a piece of paper in your pocket controlling your life relocating you from one region to the other that piece of paper forces you to get a visa whether you like it or not this piece of paper forces you to marry somebody whether you want the person or not this piece of paper as innocent as it looks what then is money money more than just a system look up please there are three things you need to understand about god and the way he designed this system for you to understand money number one you have to understand time number two you have to understand the reward system of the kingdom number three you have to understand the concept of destiny if you do not understand these three things you can never really understand money the primary assignment of financial resources primarily the primary assignment of money is for time redemption and efficiency listen carefully not <laughs> not houses and all of that the primary assignment of money is as a tool to help you redeem time and as a tool to make you efficient that means that if you ever claim to have money and you are not able to use it to redeem time and your life does not become efficient you did not use it well more than just a system of rewarding value and that is another valid definition too why because god designed us to live in the the economic system of the kingdom thrives on a reward system are we together now yes so this is a means of settlement a means of appeasal the international banks across the world some of them are called banks of settlement a psychological word in a financial institution why because it is a system of appeasal the secret to peace is justice so if i believe that i this is a hundred dollars for instance look at this if i give you this i expect you to give me something that i consider a value that matches it a reward if you do not give me this then something is wrong we can't have peace because there is no justice so money is a tool that helps you to it's a system of appeasal and settlement are we together I'll be teaching you that one of the ways to live a peaceful life is to be rich listen it's going to be difficult to truly live a peaceful life if you are not rich jesus taught us how to be peaceful he said give to caesar every time you are serving god caesar is going to come and his assignment is the tribute so he says if you want to live in peace there are things that belong to caesar don't argue make sure while you are preaching caesar's tribute is, is there so that when he comes you will give to him when you can give to caesar what belongs to caesar and to god what belongs to god you become a peacemaker i'm taking these concepts sorry for my going around with you like this it will give value when we begin to discuss a number of things and when preachers come here it will not just be i want to prosper I need a car i'm tired of trekking that definition is not deep enough to sponsor conviction the bible says redeem the time that means anything that stops you from redeeming the time is making you disobedient you must fight it there is only one reason why i hate poverty i hate poverty not because it's from the devil i hate poverty because of its effect if poverty were neutral, I won't have a problem with it. I hate poverty because of its effect to kingdom come, to my life, and to living. 
Are we together? Yes. Time redemption. So if I can trek for five hours and I can have a car that turns five hours to ten minutes, what did I do? I redeemed time. And if while I am in that car, I have the privilege to be comfortable and to think well, that is time redemption plus efficiency. Now it gives me the authority and the audacity to buy a good car without feeling guilty because I have I am sponsored by a higher motivation, a motivation that is greater than proving a point. There is a kingdom motivation, so I don't feel sorry for buying a good car. Society this our world makes you feel guilty for prospering you prosper god lifts you you owe people explanations i'm giving you comfort by the word are we together money is not just a means of exchange of value that is a very professional financial definition but more than that money is a tool one of the most effective tools for time redemption is money. You can outsource the services of others to help you to be efficient. You have only 24 hours and the load in your life needs more than 24 hours. So every time God brings this to your hands, what he's doing is not just making you look down on others is his way of helping you to live a very efficient life let me tell you you don't know how efficient your life can be until god truly prospers you many troubles in our families can be rounded up in one week one week of peace and settlement now, are you in agreement now but the trouble that lingers there can remain for decades You ask me to come and speak. I hope, I hope, I hope we're all right. Praise the name of the Lord. Leave business. We're coming there. Leave value. Leave investments. Don't worry. Your pastor is a veteran in these areas. If your motivation is soiled, you will be so frustrated. You will be engaging the motions and not know why you are doing what you are doing. God is helping us to live very wise and efficient lives because the unit of destiny is time. And whatever you give your time to, you have given a portion of your life. Do you know spending the rest of your life looking for money is a cost? Are you aware of that? I, I don't mean to insult your pedigree, but it's true. To spend money is a tool that you should have, just like anointing. Then use it to do something. If you spend your life having it, what is left for you to you see that now money was never designed to be a lifelong pursuit there should be a time t when god grants you grace like your degree like whatever it is then you can now use it if you become wealthy at 80 you become wealthy at 90 it's not a testimony not to you not to anybody jesus finished his assignment at 33 and we have remained benefactors of the speed on his life you know there is a course in africa that i'm hoping in the course of this conference will break is the cause of late achievement when a young man prospers at 22 23 people say no 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 something is wrong abroad you find people in in their teens i mean with the dignity of kingdom integrity you buy a first car at 40 50 days it's all right you know that's how we are While I'm speaking, the Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Choose. Remember we, we, how we started this lecture? That you write down the things that lack of financial resources have caused to you. What then is the pathway to wealth? Seeing that our lives are, can be messed up by the absence of this, and can be made efficient by the presence of this. Let me just balance another fallacy and then we'll discuss a few things. No matter how much time I have, we'll work. The fallacy is believing that spirituality will automatically 
on its own translate into wealth and abundance that gives you stability is a very well-intentioned truth but it's destructive that just because i have a healthy relationship with the lord jesus christ i love him with all my heart i'm a prayer warrior god forbid that i suffer my brothers and my sisters listen to me in the name of jesus and the name of honesty if you do not understand the dimensions of the kingdom excelling in one aspect of the kingdom does not replace another he said i will give you keys not a key a house has many doors if you have the key to the kitchen alone if you are hungry good for you but if you need to use the restroom and it is only the key to the kitchen you have you are still in the house but you will see how inefficient, how inefficient you will be you do well in that house to the degree to which you have the keys to all the doors if you have visitors and it's only the key to the restroom you have do you put them there no so just to say i am in the kingdom and i have a key a key of prayer or a key of spirituality it will not automatically no listen i love jesus so i'm a man of prayer i'm a man of signs and wonders i didn't come from a background that taught us this it didn't give us this balance and thank god for bridging it early enough would have been paying the price today and making nations to pay the price there are implications to ignoring other dimensions of the kingdom you are not the only one who will go down you will punish generations are we blessed for many years we were told that you forget about all these nonsense people who are carnal you just focus on god and see if he will disappoint you ah, i know people today some of them wonderful contemporaries in ministry have you seen people go to pray and then they walk around for three hours you think they are praying they are thinking the bills are killing them we have children loitering around our society today children that come from christian homes but because they ignored this dimension they trivialized it let me tell you this you know how satan attacks people he studies what you know and what you don't know then he builds the system of attack out of your ignorance the bible says no weapon fashioned weapons don't just come they are fashioned through study oh he notices that your your theology is imbalanced he can't attack you in the area of fasting. He can't make you backslide because you are passionate. You've gotten the key there. So he will come to the areas you have ignored and build a system of attack from it. Most of our ladies that go into prostitution, is it with poor men? Please talk to me in the name of honesty. The hotels that they keep them, do you pay for it for nothing? With it for nothing? Some of you are in ministry here. It's until recently God began to correct that narrative. You go and carry somebody who is a preacher and take to your father. And they say, okay, my friend, what are you doing? I say, well, the Lord called me. I'm, you know, I'm a co-laborer with God and so on and so forth. Now, watch this. For a long time, it was like a scar, a demeaning scar to call upon the name of the Lord. When did answering the call become a cause? The people are sincere. They look at you and say, what, what is the meaning of what do you do? Say, I serve God. What does that mean? Listen, God can be speaking to the lady. This is the man I've appointed for you. But poverty can change that prophecy and take that lady into the hand of a, a, a devil somewhere. And we keep watching and say it does not matter. Please, for the sake of your children, listen to what I'm telling you. You ignore what I'm telling you you will pay the price some of you here you are in this city right now i don't mean to make you feel sad i i, I hope you understand that i'm not you, you get what I'm, I'm saying as you are seated right now your loved ones are waiting for you by any means to learn this thing and come to them 
because they are absolutely clueless about what to do with their lives let's be sincere with ourselves this is more than an issue of car and house it's a matter of life and death there are people today who have gone to the grave pastor who had no business going there poverty took them like an usher ushered them from earth to another realm the body of jesus was hanging on that cross 33 year old body hanging on that cross prayer could not bring it down fasting could not bring it down it took wealth to carry the body of your Jesus to bring it down was the tomb your own do you know that tomb had an owner otherwise they would have left the body of Jesus outside where then would resurrection happen would you ever be able to say oh grave where is your was there ever a grave it took wealth to make a grave happen for prophecy to happen listen do not think that this is some jamboree financial prosperity conference just jumping for nothing this is with a kingdom paradigm don't reject poverty don't allow well-meaning people whether they are preachers businessmen or whatever it is don't allow anybody make you to make a poor decision to remain poor it is not spiritual the unfortunate thing is that it will take you a long time before you believe you are wrong by the time you turn back to correct it you're already a grandfather the elderly people have wisdom but they don't have time to correct it young people have time but they don't have wisdom to make right decisions conferences like this match the old and the young and gives wisdom to your time Are you blessed? So it is God's desire to prosper. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotos Koto Brekateka Nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.